Hi, and welcome back to the third episode of The O, your sports show covering UTD and the surrounding area. I'm your host, JP Reuter, with the latest and the greatest. We've all probably heard of fencing. It's when two people have a sword thing and they uh, hit the other person first. Well, it turns out maybe there's more to it than that. A lot more. <laughs> Enough that, well, it might just be three different sports entirely. Let's take a look. If you watched the previous episode of The O, you'll know that in fencing there are three different categories that the team competed in and came out with results in. Saber, Epe, and Foil. But before we get into too much detail, let's take a look at the basics with fencing captain Christian Garces. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get you into the unguard stance. Stand with your heels about shoulder length apart. Okay. That look good? Yeah, there you go. You just want to bend your knees a little bit more. There's about three moves we usually do. The advance is basically like the fencer's step forward. Pick up your foot, lie on the heel, and then just finish the step with the other foot. Oh, there the you go. Yeah, the back leg. And the retreat is literally the opposite. So you're going to start with your back leg, you're going to take a step backwards, and finish with your front foot. And the last move we're going to do is called the lunge, which is probably the most important uh, piece of our fencing, because that's how we actually score points. This time you want to kick it out as far as your leg goes. You want to go like that, there you go. Your leg should be pretty much straight at that point. Oh. And then, yeah, there you go. And then you just kind of want to finish the step, kind of right there, and then just kind of lean your body into it a little bit. Okay, so that's what they all have in common. So now we need to know what makes them unique. Unfortunately, I'm no expert in fencing, but luckily we have Lucas Lilly, a Sabre team member, Chandler Kafis, foil team captain, and Spence Norwood, the Epe team captain, to tell us all about it. Let's start with Sabre. It's the most different of the weapons we have available at the UTD Fencing Club. Uh, the biggest difference, I would say, is that it's a slashing weapon. You score a point by landing your blade, uh, anywhere on your opponent's target area, which is the waist upwards, including the mask and excluding your left hand. It's definitely the fastest of the three weapons we have. In contrast to Saber, let's look at Epe. So Epe is a point attack weapon, meaning you have to hit with a tip to get a point. The special thing about Epe though is that you can hit anywhere on the body and get a point. Another big thing about Epe is also that two people can get a point at the same time. So if me and another person hit, we can both get points. That makes Epe sometimes more defensive because you have to be very careful because you can get hit in lots of different ways. All of this comes together in the final type of fencing, foil. So foil is basically just a weapon where you score your opponent by touching anywhere on the lame, and as you can see on my outfit. So foil, because we have such small target area and you can only score a touch with the point of the weapon, um, it's a very fast paced and very strategic weapon. You have to think about how you're going to trick your opponent. So those are the fundamentals of fencing. Fencing may just be one sport, but the different styles definitely have enough variation to stand on their own. With Sabre being a fast style, Epe technical, and Foil the all-around competition. If we're being honest here, fencing as a whole reminds me a lot of track and field, with the different styles being the different events within it. My fencing skills are not quite unguard, as they say, but these guys sure are. They're going to be competing on November 10th in San Antonio. If you're interested in trying out fencing for yourself, they're more than happy to welcome you. They practice every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 p.m. in the auxiliary gym. You can find them on social media at UTD underscore fencing. Moving forward, you know what time it is, the... The MVT is who stood out recently, the powerlifting team. Earlier this month, Henry Liu participated at Raw Nationals in Spokane, Washington, a national competition that requires a qualifying total to be able to participate. Henry finished the competition with a remarkable 617.29 pound squat, 402.34 pound bench press, and a 606.27 pound deadlift, all while weighing in in just under 230 pounds. Now that is a power move. Let's turn now to the sports highlights leading up to October 31st. Our cross-country teams put in their all at the ASC Championships last week. The women's team took home bronze and the men's team took home gold. Our golf teams competed at Abilene Intercollegiate where the men's team finished up in sixth and the women's team in second. Both our men's and women's teams competed against Sol Ross State, East Texas Baptist, Le Tourneau, and at ASC quarterfinals. And interestingly, both won three out of four games. Volleyball has been hard at work with six games all over the southern U.S., from Mississippi to Missouri. They were able to knock out everyone in their path except for one. The eSports League of Legends teams competed in the Alienware bracket and respectively took home the win in two of the three matches. Other than powerlifting, we don't have any other club sport updates for you today. Fantastic job as always to all of our athletes. To wrap things on up, let's head over to Twitter for this week's kicker. 
This week, it's men's basketball at their annual leadership event. Uh, look at them, what a mess. It looks like a ton of fun though. Honorable mention for the kicker though is this photo by Volleyball. Honestly, it's making me kind of hungry. When's lunch again? And that's the way the sports go. If your club or team has a match or something going on, be sure to let us know. You can get in touch with us on Instagram or Twitter at UTDTO or at UTDTV for more content. A big thanks as always to everybody who helped me put this show together. It couldn't have been done without them. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in two weeks.